an easy way to reverse insulin resistance or more correctly, become insulin sensitive. First of all, just know that insulin resistance is caused by the modern food environment and how much it's been manufactured or modified from its original state and that's making us sick. That's the nuts and bolts of it. Let's get into it. To become more insulin sensitive, you wanna do five things, okay? Number one is get in a good variety of fibers before you eat every time you eat. Number two is don't fear fats. Get in plenty of good healthy fats and healthy fats are avocado oil, extra virgin olive oil, coconut oil, butter, and ghee. Ditch the seed oils and focus on those five. The third principle is prioritize protein. Get plenty of protein in, and you know what? No, it's not get rid of meat. Actually, red meat and, and chicken with the fat on it is really healthy for you and helps with your insulin resistance. Number four is limit carbs. Look, if it's not a fat and it's not a protein and it is a carb. So the only difference is between starchy and a high glycemic or low glycemic, but limit your carbs. I didn't say don't have them, I just said limit them. And then number five, implement some time-based eating, which yes, means intermittent fasting. I do a 16 hour fast with an eight hour eating window. Look, I get it. That's not really sustainable for most people and they think it's hard to do a 16 hour fast. That's why I utilize a system with two real food products to assist me with all of that. The tea I drink in the morning actually shuts down my hunger and it makes it easy for me to get to like 12, one o'clock before I have my lunch. Then I just have a pre-meal drink before I eat and then wait four to six hours, do it again. Actually, I do this anytime I eat and that's it. That's what helped me get control of my insulin resistance and reverse my diabetes. All of my lab numbers are in normal range now.